Working from home can be a blessing or a curse depending on how organized you are. And today I'm going to share with you 10 home office hacks that will help keep you organized right now. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Carrie Sells the City and Keller Williams. Besides giving you tips about real estate or highlights about the beautiful Puget Sound region, I want to provide you with information that's going to be helpful to you to live in your home and have it function better. Please be sure to check back to my channel every Wednesday or I'll have something new for you next week. It's wonderful to have the flexibility to work from home, but sometimes keeping your home office organized and non-chaotic is a task in itself. Well, today I have 10 tips to help you hack that home organization if you've been having trouble. Number one, purge your paper. I know that I enjoy piling papers, but aim to keep it under control with the systems of three. Shred and or toss, file or take action with it. Number two, color code your filing system and label them according to your needs. Green for finances, red medical, orange personal, yellow insurance, and blue for your house. Number three, create a mail station, which will help you control the amount of paper coming into your house. Have separate folders for incoming and outgoing mail, mail to file, bills, and then also have a file for each family member. Going through these once a week will help you keep your clutter down. Number four, create a printing station. Have a place in your home that your printer and all of its supplies live. If you're lucky enough to have a wireless printer, you can put it somewhere other than your desktop and enable you to have more workspace. Number five, use containers for storage. Baskets and bins, even drawer organizers will help you keep everything in its place. Number six, Use a label maker. This will enable you to make sure that everything is at your fingertips. Number seven, categorize your items. This makes accessing your tools and accessories so much easier. Helpful categories are stickies, tools, budget supplies, writing tools, mail, and labeling. Number eight, organizing your books. Whether you want to organize them by genre or potentially of color, it could be a nice focal point in your office. Number nine, create life binders. Having these binders accessible to you during an emergency could be a lifesaver. Consider making binders for medical, pets, home, auto, manuals, and personal. And finally, number 10 is utilize your wall space. Hanging filing systems and wall shelves all can help you double your workspace by going vertical. If you're having trouble getting and keeping your workspace at home in order, I hope that these tips are helpful for you. I have gone ahead and included them in the link below just so you can have them on hand if you'd like. I do appreciate you stopping by and please do stop by and see me again next Wednesday.